Uh, the next, next call speaker. is a split call. Dr Jiang Yang, five minutes. Mr Speaker, this is a great budget. This is a budget delivered by a very capable, very responsible government. Now, the nationalist government have a proven record of responsibly managing our finance, increasing our productivity, providing better public services, and rebuilding Christchurch. Mr. Speaker, I have been following the reactions of the Chinese community. I'm very pleased to say that the reactions from the Chinese community has been very, very positive. Well, there are a number of reasons why the Chinese community has been so supportive of this budget. Firstly, they see this as a very responsible budget. The national-led government has been, over the seven years, trying very hard to limit its spending, while at the same time trying to take a series of creative initiatives to develop our economy. Our deficit has declined steadily from about $18 billion in 2011 to about $9 billion in 2012, and then to about $4 billion in 2013, and just under $3 billion in 2014, to then about $684 million this year. While our deficit has declined steadily, our economy has kept growing rapidly. We are outperforming most OECD countries. And secondly, the members of the Chinese community see this budget as a very sensible budget. This government knows what all New Zealanders care about. And they represent, the government represents interests of all New Zealanders. And this is highlighted by the $790 million child hardship package. And thirdly, Members of the Chinese community share the values of the national government, such as emphasis on personal responsibility and rewarding hard work. Many Chinese immigrants once lived under Marxist socialism when they were in China, and they are fully aware of the problems of that system. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, the budget is yet another example of this government's superb capability of running this country. Now, in 2008, when National came to office, our economy was a mess. It was a nightmare. Today, we are the envy of other OECD countries. Now, according to a media release issued by Statistics New Zealand just a couple of days ago, 83% New Zealanders surveyed were highly satisfied with their lives. I believe one particular reason or factor that makes New Zealanders feel satisfied is our world-class education. We all appreciate the importance of education, and we say education is a passport to the future. Budget 2015, according to Budget 2015, the total spending on early childhood primary and secondary education will reach a record $10.8 billion in 2015-16. And now here, I must acknowledge the wonderful work done by Minister Honourable, Honourable Hekia Parata. Right. Now, tertiary education. Now, a few, a, couple, a few years ago, when I was, uh, a couple of years ago actually, when I was um, uh, Deputy Chair of Health Select Committee, we went to visit Good. Fisher Paiko <laughs> Healthcare. We asked them what challenges they were facing. One challenge they mentioned about, they mentioned was the difficulty of finding qualified engineers. So this national government has increased the funding of engineer for engineering degrees steadily in the past few years. And this is just one of many examples of our good policies. And this indeed is a great budget. Thank you. Speaker. Uh, Malo Lei uh, Saifua, Ian McKelvey. Uh, Mr Speaker, I've got a great feeling at the moment. Uh, uh, never in my 